Hey, this is TNT Ender. I'm back with another one lap. This time we're on Technologic Park. Was uh, one of the championship maps for MWU and became a favorite to a lot of the people. Um, we're going to give you a quick look around here. And I'm definitely not going to be able to make one lap here in the Osiris. I can almost guarantee that. But I'll do my best. So first off, we start here in the little box, as usual. It's actually off to the side of the track slightly. And uh, hard to read, but that says pits with an arrow. There's a bunch of mech bays down there. There are some mines. I'm not going to go that way just to show you, but it basically loops around behind this grandstand here. And uh, gives you a chance to repair. There's lots... Lots of mines on this track. Stop for a second. These single barriers are destroyable. They take quite a bit of firepower to knock down. The triple ones here that say Solaris on them, those ones are not destroyable. You can jump over them, which most people do. Eventually some of the smaller ones do get destroyed and there's a path through. So, um, unique to this map are these little mogul ramps. Now there is an issue, and, and I'll be the first to admit it since I did design the map. If you get caught in the corner between the wall and the ramp, sometimes, very rarely, you'll actually fall through and get stuck underneath. It's an unfortunate side effect to, to using platforms in the way that we did. Um, there's really nothing we could do about it, so... If that does happen to you, you'll have to suicide out. There is no way out of there, unfortunately. That said, we'll get on here. And there's two different ways there, different ramps. Alright, this is our first checkpoint. These walls here, you can see the checkered flag. And there's tons of mines. And there we go. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I still hit a mine. Here we are back at the start finish, or the uh, checkered flag. This is actually going to be your first checkpoint and your last checkpoint. When you come through this wall, there's going to be two calliopes shooting you in the back. They won't be, even become active until you actually walk through that gate. So that's a pretty nasty one. And I'm sure there's mines on this ramp. I can't remember. This ramp's actually got, there's a little lip right there. It's kind of hard to see, but in between each segment, and we call them the dasher killers, because basically when you're running up this at full speed, you hit those and they make you lift off the ground slightly, which makes it hard to control. They're done that way on purpose. Yeah, see there, I skipped a little bit. Uh, when you get to the top of this hill, big platform of uh, turrets off in the distance. Usually takes a little bit for them to get cleared out. And another mine. This big section right down here, you can see some of the mines. They're everywhere down there. You want to come off this platform with some speed and some air so you don't fall into that. Because I know there's fuel tanks and everything down there. And it makes a huge explosion and does not bode well for your mech. Come around the corner here. Again, we have two paths. The lower path goes under the bridge here. I know there's mines down in there. Upper path goes up this ramp. Again, you're going to skip a little bit there at the top. There's a bridge. These railings on the bridge are destroyable. You can hop down at any point. And again, they got this little glitching graphic effect. It's something with one of the newer patches. We didn't have that problem before. But here you have a wall separating the two different ways. Just some hilly section through here. Some mines. Um, this bridge here is our second checkpoint. A lot of people tend to jump over it. Um, it is mined underneath, obviously. Um, larger mechs have an issue sometimes of getting under there. Their arms get hung up on the, on the uh, sides, which tend to cause some issues. Smaller mech you can just kind of fly through. 
And there you see strong point defense, lots of LRM turrets. And I'm going to die. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended heat level critical. Shut down imminent. Warning. Yep. Damage. We'll just get Weapon ourselves a new one. Weapon. And even with a new mech, I'm still not that healthy when I get back here. So, like I said, the chances of me making this on one mech were slim to none. All right, you come up here, and this is your first choice. You can go either way around this. Um, both corners. There's a small turret emplacement. Now we're going to go this way around and walk into a mine. Most of these buildings down here are destroyable. I'm probably going to need another mech. Um, this ramp here, again, you can go pretty much any way you want in here. There's different ways throughout um, this building up here munitions depot it's labeled such for a reason and if I go any closer than I am right now it's going to kill me Warning. there it goes um, let's see we have a turret up there there's lots of fuel tanks around this whole place has fuel tanks, weapons. This bridge here goes up to the next section. This is destroyable. So once this is gone, this little path up here is no longer valid. This building down here, which I'm going to try to show you without dying. Or landing on it, because that'll probably destroy it. Oh, never mind. Blowing up the fuel tanks destroyed it. But in here, there's a mech bay. Conveni conveniently labeled, not a mech bay. This one is destroyable. The ones on pit lane are not. So this one usually doesn't last very long. I'm going to try to keep it there for... For our demo purposes here. Got a couple laser turrets here on the line. Most of these towers are explosive. Oh sure, they're gonna make a liar out of me. They also mark explosives. Up there. Have a nice turret emplacement. I'm trying to get through there. I think I might have done it. Got a couple more turrets lined up there. And this next section here is the Disco Ball of Death, as it's become known. If I can stop for a minute here. It's Rothgar hanging upside down. And it's fully weapons active in the actual race mode. And the problem is, being so high up, it's out of range in my guns. So you need something with decent range. And a lot of people were bringing long toms at the time, using them to clear out turrets and mines. And trying to hit something suspended in the air with a long tom. Yeah, good luck with that one. So our next section here underneath that is full of tank traps to get you hung up so that it can just hammer you. There's also mines, of course. But yeah, these uh, tank traps will do a number on you. You get stuck on one of them, especially if that Rothgar is still active, and it'll literally just tear you to shreds. There's a mine. Come out of this section. There's a couple laser turrets up there. Pulse lasers on those guard towers. Lots and lots of mines. Around this corner, that line is our uh, last checkpoint. Get my temperature down before she yells at me. And we have the girder maze. There's a couple different ways to weave in and out of here. Yeah. Gotta watch this section here if you go. If you can see through the smoke, this girder lays all the way across, so if you don't have jump jets, that's pretty much a dead end for you. 
And I'm probably not going to be able to get through here without hitting at least one more mine, which is going to do me in. But I'll try. Come around. There's your sign for the pits. Off to the left there is our... Um, will be behind us now is the starting gate. And, of course, the pits are behind there. You can cycle around through the pits. I'm going to try to go around without doing the pits. Just because we're this close to the end. Come around this corner. Try to pick the same path you did the last time. That way you know there's no mines. And this checkered flag is actually going to be the finish line. And that's it. That's uh, one lap on Technologic Park. One of the more difficult maps, I think. But uh, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, we'll see you at the next track.